Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a map writing system in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So the free model is in the description and this is what it looks like. So the map voting ends and I didn't vote so it picks a random map and it was snow. Now after a certain amount of time, the player will die and the map will get removed. Boom. And when we respawn, it chooses three new random maps. And we can vote, we can only vote once. And yeah, so let's get started with the tutorial. So once you insert the free model in the description, open up the folder and ungroup the models in the correct places. Okay, storage, server storage, starter character scripts, and workspace. Then we can delete this folder and let's add in a spawn location and it will now work. But I'm going to show you how you can customize everything from the different maps and uh, the, all the different waiting times. So this here is the map voting time, how long the map voting should be, we can do like 20. This here is the game time, how long uh, the player actually is inside of the map for. And then time to round starts, this is uh, when it picks like a new round so here every time a round starts it waits so like people will actually see that a new round is starting and then it'll wait and then here time to teleport so after it picks a map that's how long it waits until it teleports all the players so we'll leave that as normal so if we now go and test it you'll see here a new round starting and it'll do 20 seconds for the map voting because that's what we change it to and the game time will be 60 seconds so cool now if you want to add in more maps what you have to do inside the images firstly duplicate one of these rename it to your map i'll do hmm i'll do arctic although i already have snow well here i'll just do ice and then get uh, an image choice so ice Mm. Something like this, I guess. So, uh, right click on it, copy the asset ID, and paste it into there. So, cool, that's the images done. But then we also have to put it in here. So, put in a comma and then the name of it. So, ice. And make sure that it's spelt the exact same as the uh, int value that you put in there. And next, you have to make your actual map. So, I'm going to duplicate this, bring it into workspace so I can see what I'm doing. Rename this to the names, ice. Then go to the floor, change all this. Something blue. Um, glacier. Okay, yeah, that works. Then drag that into the maps folder. And now it is done, so let's test it. Boom, as you can see, the map ice one with one vote. And we get teleported into the ice. Cool. So that all works. And also, this does work um, on a multiplayer server. I tested it and everything. And also, if two people... Like, if someone votes for this one and it has one vote, and someone votes for this one, and they're both, like, tied, it will choose a random one between the two. And if no one votes at all, it just chooses a random one as well. And also here, inside the script... When a new round is starting, you will not be able to vote. Uh, oh no, you will be able to vote only after the time, uh, only after it starts. So when the when it says map voting ends in, then you'll be able to vote. But then after that, you won't be able to vote. And obviously, when a round has started, you will not be able to vote. And you also cannot vote more than once. And also, if you want to change where the player spawns, take your maps, put them in a workspace. And find the spawn part and just move this to where you want and that's where the player will spawn now i'm going to show you what it looks like on a multiplayer server so as you can see we are in and now no i'm gonna not vote on any of them and when it ends it's gonna say no one voted boom so a random map was picked and it's snow now all the players get teleported into the snow map <coughs> now as you can see 
both players died and the map was destroyed. So now I'm going to let both players, so as you can see here, both players are going to vote. So I vote one and one. So now it's going to pick a random one between the two. So it chose a random one and the random one was water. Now we both get teleported into the water map. So that is it for today's video. Bye guys.